What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you were watching last summer around this time, you know I was in a huge crunch to get this thing ready for Wolfscott. Wolfscott's coming up in just a couple of weeks here and I'm happy to say this year I'm in a lot less of a crunch to get this thing ready. Last year I just about pulled it off things didn't go smoothly. Um, if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch it. It's a long one, but it's worth it. Kind of one thing after another after another, but I managed to get down to a bit of the show with the rabbit, and the rest of the summer just finished building the car, getting it more roadworthy. This summer, I've just been working on modifying the car, making it more enjoyable to drive, making it more reliable, doing some maintenance on it, some upgrades and some mods. And I really only have one thing left that I want to do before Wolfscott this year. Anything after that this summer will just be a bonus. And that is to install a Sean oil pan gasket. I've got a lower brace, and this is an R32 oil pump. Now, the reason why I want to do these is um, the fitment on this thing. The front sits kind of high compared to the rear. So let me show you that real quick. You can see the front, about three quarters of an inch gap between the fender and the tire, whereas the rear sits uh, closer to, I don't know, quarter inch, half an inch but I'm scared to go any lower in the front of this thing, and I'll show you why. That oil pan is real low, and I mean like two and a bit inches from the pavement. I'm scared to go any lower because I don't want to smash that thing off the bottom. So I have a Sean oil pan. That's gonna get me close to an inch more ground clearance, then I can lower the front to about where I want it. Um, that lower brace is a kind of while you're in there modification because you can't get to one of the bolts because the oil pan is in the way. So when the oil pan is off, I can take that bolt out, put the brace in and put the new oil pan on. And the oil pan itself is from IAEBD, IABED Industries. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'll post a link in the description. And yeah, that kind of the the go-to for these things. I opted for the slightly more expensive one with the baffles. Kind of thinking this car's getting some race car vibes at the moment. I'm probably never gonna take it on the track, but I want it to handle like a little go-kart. So I went for the baffled option, and then you have to put in the R32 oil pump because the 2.8 oil pump on these VR6s is deeper. So obviously you wouldn't be able to fit the pan on because the oil pump sits too low. So I'm gonna swap that in as well. And yeah, this one should be a quick and easy one, I think. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. We'll see those. <laughs> you know watching these videos, sometimes things always seem to happen. The only thing I'm waiting for in the mail that might hold me up, they're out for delivery today, is this oil pan has three of these uh, dash 10 AN bungs so you can run like oil return lines and stuff. I don't need those, but they didn't come with any bungs with the kit. So I'm um, waiting for those to get delivered, but I think I'm gonna crack on with getting this installed. And you know, as always, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Um, drop me a comment. You know, I love to chat in the comments, uh, like and subscribe. Let's get on with it. Oil pan is off. Pretty easy. For anyone who's interested, that's what the underside of a 2.8 12 valve VR6 looks like. And you can see if I hold the camera at this angle, the oil pickup, that's this right here, and the oil pump is the lowest bit of um, kind of of the engine where it hangs down. So that R32 oil pump sits a lot shallower. So I think the next thing to do is to pull this one off, put the new one on. So 
So you can see now as well, without the oil pan on, I can get to this bolt, which was previously blocked by it. This one is still open. So I can pull those out. Hopefully that brace will drop right on. Guess we'll find out. Well, I was worried for a second there that this lower brace wasn't gonna fit, but it clears the bottom of the transmission by literally 3 sixteenths of an inch. I managed to line the bolts up for the control arms back in, and I test fit the oil pan just to make sure that clears as well, and it all clears, so. Oh, this is gonna be good, we're gonna put the, um, R32 oil pump on, then I can put this sump on. USPS just showed up with those bungs. So, are we close already on this one? Let's get it done, let's go. And a quick comparison of these on the bench, you can see that this one is deeper than this one. So I just swapped over this rod right there, that's what drives the oil pump. Just need to swap over this return line next and then it can go back in. We are in the home stretch, people. You will have seen I was putting a little bit of thread locker on those bolts that holds the oil pump to the bottom of the engine. They had a little bit of thread locker when I took them out, so I had a little bit going back in. You definitely do not want those bolts backing out when the engine's running. That would be very catastrophic. So a little bit of Loctite on those. I just cleaned up the 25 bolts that holds the oil pan to the bottom of the engine. I gotta crack open that new gasket. And then these are the bungs that showed up. I did just put a little bit of lube on the oil, on the O-ring. They have a little O-ring just to help them seal. So a little bit of lube on that just to help them seal. And I'll just snug that up with a wrench. They don't need to be super tight because they've got that O-ring in there. And then yeah, I could put this oil pan back on, adjust the suspension, and this thing would be ready to go. Okay, there we have it. Oil pan is in, oil pump is in, lower brace is in. I snugged up all the bolts. The torque spec on those is 15 foot pounds, so really light. Um, I went around a bunch of times just making sure they've got some equal tension on them. Definitely don't want to over tighten them. That gasket's going to do its job and stop the oil from leaking. Um, I just need to put oil back in it, but while it's up in the air, I'm gonna adjust the front coilovers, lower it down about half an inch, and see where it sits. This thing's gonna be sick. I'm so stoked right now. Mm -hmm. 